Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this wonderful Wednesday? I am recording this late, but this will be a testimony to you. So, um, okay, so I, I haven't been doing Testimony Tuesday for a while because God has really been working on something within me. And I figured that, which is not true. Um, usually whenever you are going through things, the biggest victory <laughs> that you will ever receive is to still remain the same through the storms. So even if you may have, you know, something that you do constantly and then, oh, you know, something detrimental happens, God really doesn't want us to stop doing those things. I mean, sometimes, you know, we may have too much on our plates to where he didn't even ordain in the first place. So that's not what I'm talking about. But if it's anything being done for him, for his glorification, no, and you've already got approved that, you know, that's what God really wants you to do. I mean, we're not really supposed to do stop doing it. And I feel like that's probably kind of what I did. I just kind of stopped making my videos because, you know... I figured since I was going through what I was going through, you know, I wouldn't, my, my testimony wouldn't be beneficial to someone else because I was still going through it, but that's totally not true. I mean, you know, you, you're always a voice. You're always an encouragement to someone because we're all going through the same exact things, but in a different way. But today, um, I kind of wanted to flashback and um, well actually you know of course testimony tuesdays are a day to look back and to, just to reflect and just to acknowledge growth and change and yeah so let's reflect okay so i remember i remember back in the day i used to just be this type of person that just did not want to change at all like I literally thought that everything that I did was good everything that I did was okay and it wasn't even the fact that I didn't want to change I thought that I could change people I guess I thought that you know the certain things that I did the way that I thought um, different things that I would do I thought that I could encourage somebody else to do the exact same things not thinking that you know I am who I am you are who you are they are who who they are and we could only encourage um, people by the change in us but we can never change anybody and I believe that the number one thing that I would try to do is to change people while in a relationship like you know I used to I mean if any of you know my exes or whoever I mean if I if I dated you if you watching this no shame to you I pray that you know you are living the life that God has planned for you I pray that you are um living in a way that is changeable and pleasing to God. So I'm not trying to bring no shame to you, but I'm just saying that, you know, I noticed that in my past, I would mainly date thugs. I would date, and I, and I don't mean like thugs in a sense of like, I don't know. I guess to me in the past, what I thought a thug was, you know, people who sell drugs, people who do drugs, people who, um, just was out in the streets just out and about ain't got no goals don't have um you know anything going on with themselves but I found myself as a younger girl not a woman yet but a girl who would cling to these type of men or boys because I thought that you know with the things that I did how I thought maybe I can save them maybe I can be the positive influence that they need in their life just so that they don't continue going down the path that they're going down up but yeah like those are mainly the guys that I would associate myself with and even when I realized that those are the type of guys that I shouldn't associate myself with then I tend to associate myself in my life with 
guys who were promiscuous, although I was promiscuous myself, you know, I couldn't keep one guy. You know, I always had to have a backup plan. I always had to have somebody on the side and <laughs> a girl, your girl was a mess. <laughs> but, you know, those were mainly the guys that I would associate myself with or mind you, those was the guys that I used to date. So, um, with that being, you know what, I can't, I can't cross over. You know, I'm driving right now. So, but yeah, like, but anyways, like, I just really thought that, you know, if I, even friends, even friends, you know, even if I was associating myself with a friend who may have, um, you know, gone down a different path than I did, I just really thought that I could change people. I really thought that, you know, I could, you know, give some type of advice, may not have been godly advice, but, you know, I just really thought that I could change people, like, seriously, change them. But then a light bulb clicked um, that, you know, after so many years on failing, <laughs> you know, uh, trying to be this person that, you know, not only do, not only what I like to see in other people, you know, it's, it's challenging, you know, being somebody like being loving, being patient, being caring being a giver, being just all of these goodness, um, being, the, being these, having these good qualities about yourself because, you know, not only do you know that it's right, you know, you would also like to see those good qualities in other people as well. So, you know, it's challenging, you know, being a type of person that I guess it, it's challenging having, you know, a big heart. I would say it's very challenging having a big heart because you're more prone to get hurt because you know you tend to see the goodness of people before you even notice the bad I guess and I mean that's actually a good thing but then again you know you just I guess that comes down to trusting people <laughs> to your full capacity before actually realizing what the person's capable of doing but I mean that's I mean, that's what God wants us to do. God wants us to love, you know, love one another as as of how we love ourselves. So, I mean, you know. But, yeah, just the many years on failing and realizing that, you know, I can't change anybody. Today, it made me realize that, you know, what the heck? We're trying to change people because that's one thing that we do not have the power to do. You know, that's God's job. God can only, God's the only person that could do a complete 360 in somebody's life. And it's not even in somebody's life, you know, what the change really starts in your heart. And of course, anybody can say, oh yeah, you helped change me. Yes, your actions can change, but what does those actions, I mean, does it line up to how you really feel? Like, what's in your heart? What are your true intentions on doing the things that you do? So that's one thing that we, we don't have the capacity to touch. We don't have the ability to touch. Only God can do that. So what I've learned is that, you know, if I really want, you know, especially in a relationship, especially, you know, in my marriage as well, you know, we can't change anybody. We all make mistakes. We all um, are going to do things that aren't pleasing to one another. And of course, you know, we can't necessarily, you know, allow that to be our main focus. Like, oh, you know, let me, let me survive this day and not, um, and not mess up. Like, let me survive this day. Like, you know, if you focus too much on not doing wrong you're gonna continue to do wrong and don't even realize it because that's your main focus hopefully that made sense but i mean that's just like that's just like in children like if you tell a kid not to touch a hot stove like okay so you telling me not to do something i'm curious now let me let me touch let me see what it feel like <laughs> and so that's the same with us like you know if we focus on not doing something because we know it's bad I mean what about the good things I mean do what's natural and so what I had to learn is that you know regardless on the position of 
what other people are doing, especially in relationships or even my marriage. Like, you know, I can't change the fact that somebody is who they are. I can only be who I need to be not only for God, but I need to be who I need to be for myself. So it's not even the fact that, oh, you know, let me try to change you. Let me let me give you these Bible scriptures. Let me uh, set the schedule for you. Let me, you know, do no, no. That's all in God's hands. What I can do is set my own schedule. What I can do is work on my own patience. What I can do is work on my own kindness. What I can do is allow God to help reconstruct my heart. That is all that I can do. That's all that we can do. We can't keep on thinking that, you know, certain people that we get in relationship with, our intentions cannot be, oh, you know, I know that this person is into this and I'm definitely not into that. I know that this person's addicted to this and I know that that's, that has nothing to do with me, but I can definitely change that. Like, no, that cannot be our first into, uh, intentions. Yeah, that cannot be our first intentions when we are connecting to people because that's one thing that's one way that our hearts become broken that's one way that our character becomes shattered because we put too much faith we put too much not even too much faith let me let me take that out um but we put too much mm, i don't know if it's pride or we put too we put too much work into trying to change people when we forget that we need to change ourselves you know if you so much if we're so much worried about oh dang they they gossip too much you know they they worried about this you know they worried about the new jays that's coming out they weren't okay you may not be worrying about the new jays but you show worried about when your paycheck come in so you can buy a new um whatever it is you know so we're all in the same like nobody's better than nobody at all we all struggle with the same problems but in a different way but one thing is especially in marriages or relationships we cannot fixate on the fact of we can change other people when in reality we can only change ourselves and so that should only be what we should focus on is changing and bettering ourselves with the help of God. And another thing I also had to learn from my past is that you can still you can still be friends or you can still kind of not necessarily uh permanently be around certain people, but you can still be uh you can still hang around people that kind of does a little different things than you but if it's something that is going to cause you to fumble and stumble then those are the things that you should definitely be cautious when it comes to hanging around with people um what i mean is that you know okay for me personally it took a lot <laughs> It took praying and fasting for me to stop smoking. And for those that know me, um, <laughs> what do they say? Um, you know, I used to, it, it was really bad. It was really bad for me. I, I would say that I was addicted. And so um, I don't smoke anymore, but it's the fact of being around people who do smoke you know, now I'm to the point to where I'm okay. You know, I, you know, even smelling it, it makes me sick, honestly, but smelling it now, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, you know, maybe let me hit it one time or maybe, you know, let me just smell it. Let me just breathe it in and, you know, I'll be okay. But no, you know, I had to learn that, you know, if, if there are areas that I am weak in, Sometimes it's best to remove yourself from the situation. Um, and I mean, that comes down to relationships too. Because, you know, if there are people that we are, um, if there are people that we are connecting ourselves with that, <laughs> I mean, if you live a certain way and you, per and you intentionally, well, I hope they are right. Yeah, I hope they are.
hope everything's all right. But um, but if you intentionally, you know, go against, you know, what you believe or what you really, you know, if you go against all of that and you choose, because I mean, we all have a choice. We all, you know, free will. But, you know, that's just like if you, I don't know. I don't even know what an example to say because, I mean, they, they say opposites attract. But, I mean, I mean, what use is that? I mean, what use is that? Um, I mean, there are times that you may, I mean, even friendships, relationships, you know, where you're weak, you know, the other person may, you know, may be stronger in certain areas. Like if you're not good with money, you know, you may date somebody who is good with money. Or if you're not a good organizer, you, you may date somebody or are married with somebody who is a good organizer. Or I mean, I mean that to me, that's what opposites attract. Like you know, if if I'm a dirty person, then you know, I gotta be with somebody who's clean. You know, two dirty people are gonna just make a dirty lifestyle, I guess. You know, so you know, if you choose, and I just had to learn the fact that you know, it's a choice. It's a choice to um, be around people like that. Cause I know, like at first, I didn't realize that. I had the capability to say no like you know I, I didn't realize that I had a capability to say you know mm, I mean I'm not gonna say that I'm not your friend anymore but you know we we live differently now there's some things that you do that I don't do but at the same time if you would like to you know go to church with me if you would like to you know let's go bowling or let's go see a movie or let's go somewhere like because you know if you invite somebody over if we hang out at the crib you know, especially if we used to hang out the crib and all we did was drink a smoke or something, then that's that window, that door is open for temptation. And that's one thing that, you know, God has showed me that I have to guard my heart against of. So, you know, that's one thing that I had to learn um, from my past because I was just a type of person that always wanted to keep everybody close to me. Like I always thought that you know, oh, you're going to be my friend forever. You know, we're going to die together. Ooh, you know. So I just really thought that, you know, I had to keep the same people around me, which, you know, no offense. I mean, you know, I, I love, you know, everybody who I was friends with, everybody who, you know, may I, I still currently may be associated with. I mean, I love everybody. It's just the fact that I have to guard my heart. I have to be careful with who I'm around, what I do, because it's so easy to slip back. It's so easy to get in a place where you can't even get back to stability. Like, it's so easy. It is so easy. Are you gonna let me over? Gee, thank you. Finally, I, I, yeah. But anyways, um, it's just so easy to get trapped <laughs> because of the things that you know you really shouldn't be doing but then if you just test it out one more time you know that one time turns into two times two times turn into four and then five and then boop you're addicted again and no matter what it is what you watch what you inject what you smoke what you drink and then it all stems down to your influences as well and so I just didn't know from my past like I didn't know that I had that power that capability to change my surroundings, to change the people that I choose to be with, to, you know, um, I didn't know that I had that capability. So that's another thing that um, I learned, which, <laughs> well, I learned. But yeah, I didn't intend to make this video long, <laughs> but um, honestly, this might be one of the very few videos that I do not edit because Usually when I record, I'm just like watching it repeatedly, trying to see what I messed up on. And I don't think that I have that many, that many slip ups. So I don't think I'm going to edit this one. But yeah, anyways, but I do encourage, I encourage every last one of you all, including myself, because I can't really... And I hear it all the time, like especially when I watch, um, you know, different pastors and, you know, others who are just motivating people. Like I just, I hear it all the time, you know, you can't really 
speak on something if you haven't personally experienced it yourself. So, of course, you know, I'm speaking because these are things that I had to personally go through. These are things that, you know, God has really helped me, like, really open my eyes to see, really open my mind to realize that there are a lot of things that, you know, we really are in control of. You know, he's only in control of reconstructing, you know, our lives, our hearts, you know, our thought processes. But we do have a big part in that as well. Um, and that just comes down to us guarding, guarding our hearts, being intentional with what we feed our minds, what we feed our atmospheres. And so, you know, that's one thing that we all are in control of. So, um, you know, I just encourage everyone to just you know, sit back and reevaluate your life. Like if there's certain habits and things that you have that you try to inflict on other people, you know, what exactly is it? You know, is it beneficial? You know, is it something that's going to, I mean, is it glorifying the God for one, but then is it something that's going to bring someone closer to God or is it something that's going to bring them further away from him? Or is it, is it something that's going to benefit somebody? Or is it going to be something that's going to trap somebody? You know, that is something that we should all really think about, you know, when we enter in relationships or marriages or friendships, you know, are we really being intentional? Are we, I mean, what are our motives? What are our motives with being with whoever we're with, you know? Okay, I need to quit for somebody seeing me, so I just got it. I, I said I was. I just got at work. <laughs> I just got to work. Um, yeah. I need to hurry up if I'm late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, man, I might be the only person that loses her keys while in the car. Oh. Yeah. Get my masculine umbrella to be on the rain.